Hi everyone, it's Anne here from annshappystampers.co.uk and I'm just back with another tutorial and today I'm going to make um, one of these gorgeous little notepads that I came up with and it's using some of the gorgeous new products that are available today and I've used the beautiful U stamp set and I've also put Wink of Stella on there and this gorgeous gorgeous new designer series paper which is absolutely beautiful and um, so it's just a, a shopper style notepad and um, you open it up and inside I've put a little calendar and um, it's also got a little pocket here and then the same DSP is on the notepad okay and I just think it looks beautiful I really do and the heat embossing um, that I've got on there and the stitch shapes and that stamp set is just absolutely beautiful it really really is so that's um, the new DSP and here's another one which I did and again that DSP is just beautiful same stamp set again and inside I've got a little pocket and again the pads wrapped with um, the same DSP and this one again this is done from the succulent garden designer series paper and I've heat embossed this beautiful design which is a celebration stamp set and I just want to say as well I've, I've got a new tripod and I'm still kind of getting used to the positioning and stuff so you know sorry if the video is not what it usually is but I'm just trying you know to get used to it right so today the new catalogues have, have gone live which is the spring summit and the celebration so the paper that I'm using is on page 51 and it's this fallen in love and honestly I really have fell in love with it it's absolutely stunning it's beautiful I'm going to give you a quick flick through it and the stamp set which you've probably seen it around a lot anyway but is that one which is beautiful you okay and then the stamp set we're going to use from celebration is delicate details and again but that's beautiful it really is okay and if anyone would like any copies just you know get in touch with us you can leave a comment on here or go onto my website and I'll send you a copy out straight away okay so I don't want to witter on about that too much so what we're using like I've just said is beautiful you you get two cases with this set and I'm going to use the same girl with the umbrella and um, that's the free set you can get from celebration if you spend 45 pound and on the books the book I showed you I think I used that one and today we're going to use this one and you know it's a really beautiful stamp set really really is and the sentiment I got from better than email which is in the annual catalogue and it was from my heart to yours so that is what we're using today now quickly I'm just going to get the paper so this is called Fallen in Love and it is absolutely beautiful it really is my favourite and I've already been uh, using it so and that's got gorgeous lace on um, that's the one I used for one of the notebooks and that's the one we're using today um, there's just so many gorgeous I mean look at that isn't that it's absolutely beautiful again it's another gorgeous one we'll be using this one on Friday actually that's another beautiful one and I've been <coughs> using some of them so that's just a quick flick through the papers there so let's get on with our project for today so 
I'm going to make this one in soft sky um, and it needs to measure wait till I get my notes ready I have got them ready so the card for this needs to measure eight and a quarter inches by six and five eighths um, you're going to need two pieces of the designer series paper and um, we're using this blue one today which is soft sky so one of them the big one needs to measure eight and a quarter by three inches and the smaller one needs to measure three by ten <clears throat> right yeah three by ten <clears throat> sorry it doesn't this big one is eight and a quarter no it's not I'm even telling you a lie there right the bigger piece measures nine and one eighth by three the smaller piece measures eight and one eighth by three and one eighth but they'll all be on my blog if you need the measurements I've got some scraps of very vanilla for our stamping and I've cut out a stitched shape in silver glimmer and a little square and I've got one of the little calendars here now I just picked these up from eBay and I think they were only a couple of pounds for like 50 and we're going to do some gold heat embossing as well so first of all we're going to score our piece of card so all you need to do is pop it in your trimmer or your scoreboard whatever you're going to use and you need to score the short side is that right no you need to score the long side at three and one eighth of an inch okay so three and one eighth and then is that right three and a half no that doesn't seem right because it's not it is the short side oh god yeah score the short side at three and one eighth and three and a half inches okay so that's all you'll have yeah just two little score lines there <clears throat> sorry i think it's just this new tripod's just knocking me whole set up really until i get used to it so take our bone folder and score score lines here okay and then it will make like just a little book effect a little book effect to put your um, notepad in sorry about that I hadn't even got the notepad ready <laughs> Right, so I've got my notepad, which is just, I think, what you call a shopping notepad. And I think what we'll do first is we'll cover our notepad. So take the, the, long, the longest piece of your DSP and just line it up here. Get it straight on your pad. And then all I'd do is just, you know, get it where I think it needs to be. And then I just literally fold it round the top, like so. And then I just press on that, you know, to give it, to make a mark of it. And then I just fold and burnish where I've just scored, where I've just pressed it, because it will leave like two score, score marks. So I'm just going to fold and burnish them okay just like that 
and then you want some really thin tape down that middle score line okay so I've got some of this thin tape here and just pop it down the middle of the score lines that you've just made and then another piece just so it sticks to the back of the notepad okay so just a couple of pieces like that and then I peel the one off first that we put in the score line and then take your notepad okay line it up where you had it before and it should hopefully fit and just press that onto the top of the notepad so it'll have stuck and then I'll just peel this other piece off if it will come off that is there we go just peel that oh come on That's it. peel that off and then just stick that to the back of your notepad just give it a press down And I just rub my bone folder over the top of there as well, make sure it's stuck. And then if there's any little bits sticking over, I'll just trim them with the scissors. So there you have a beautiful notepad. Okay. So that's the notepad done. And then what I'm gonna do now is take our piece of DSP that will go on the front of our piece of card. Now, <clears throat> I don't know why, but I think I've cut this too wide actually. Yeah, it should, that's the wrong measurement because we need it smaller. So it's two and seven eighths. Yeah, the length's right. So it's not three and one eighth wide. It should be two and seven eighths wide. Honestly, right, so two and seven eighths, not three and one eighth like I originally said. Okay, and then it should fit properly now. Yeah, that's better, much better. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got the um, this curvy corner trio punch I know it's retired now but I just want to use this on the edges of my paper just gives a really pretty effect I think so what I want to do is I want to heat, <coughs> heat emboss this um, stamp from the celebration one um, just a couple down the bottom like I did on the notepad that I showed you So I'm just going to give it a quick wipe with the embossing buddy. Okay. Then I've got some Versamark here. And I'm just going to pop one along the bottom about there okay and then I'm gonna pop 
another one probably about I'm just trying to think how much gap I'm going to be leaving um, probably about half an inch maybe Yeah, about a half an inch gap away from the first one and I've got some silver embossing powder if I can get a hold of the paper and I'm just gonna heat emboss Doesn't that look so pretty? And obviously it will look even better once it's heat set. Missed a little bit there. And there we go. So I'm just going to get the heat tool. I'll just quickly heat this up a little bit. I think you'll agree that looks so pretty on there, really does. So what I want to do now is our our little um, lady from the stamp set. Okay, we're just gonna heat emboss her in silver as well. So give that a good wipe over. And also I've got a little scrap which we'll do our sentiment on. So I've got the lady mounted here. So we'll ink her up. Okay. And then we'll stamp her out. And then our sentiment will go on here, which is the one from um, Better Than Email. Okay. And I've just got the powder again. sentiment there we go we'll just heat set them and then we just need to cut them out
Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? It really is beautiful. And the sentiment is as well. So <clears throat> to cut them out, I've just got my little machine here. Um, I've used this a few times before. And I'm going to use the, I think it's the largest um, stitched oval. Okay, so I'm just going to, it does cut a tiny little bit off, but just a tiny little bit of the squiggle there. So I'm going to pop this through. beautiful and our little sentiment is going to get cut out with the smallest um, stitched square that just fits really nicely on there so I'll just get this run through as well There we go, that looks sweet. So we'll get these out of the way <coughs> and we can start and stick this together. So what you also need to do is the back of our notepad, we need to tape it to our, um, our little folder that we've made for our notepad. So I just put three pieces of tape on and that seems adequate enough to hold it. There we go, so we'll just peel the tape off. Okay. So take your little folder that we've made and you want to kind of stick it next to the score line but obviously not on it because then it will interfere when you try trying to um, close it and open it. So just next to the score line. I think that looks fine. So there you go, you've got your little folder and your little notepad, the covered notepad, which I think looks pretty. And then on the inside, um, I've got my little calendar that I dropped on the floor and I'm just going to glue that to the inside of our little folder. I just thought it was a nice little touch really because um, sometimes you really need a calendar and there just isn't one. So just literally glue that there or you know wherever you want it to go. And there's your little calendar and then we're going to glue our DSP onto the front of our notebook. and central which that looks just looks so so pretty I mean doesn't that look absolutely beautiful and then it just leaves our little our lady and our sentiment so I'm gonna glue the lady onto the silver foil Central as well. Okay, 
and our little sentiment. We'll glue that onto the silver foil. There we go. And if you just take some dimensionals, just pop them on the back. Okay, so we're going to put the lady just about there. I just think this makes such a pretty gift for somebody. You know, I mean, they're just a little cheap notepad, but, you know, you can make them look so much more by just, you know, adding some pretty things. And then the sentiment is just going to go kind of in the middle of the two heat embossed patterns that I made and there we go I just think it's so so pretty I really do so I hope you like them and um, I'll be back again on Friday with um, another tutorial so you can order live now from the new catalogue don't forget for every £45 you spend you get to pick a free item from Celebration so yeah thanks for watching take care and bye for now